Good morning, welcome to Friday's wildcard segment. We've got a couple of games coming in today, courtesy of Scipio Merc there in chat. The first one here is Heroes of Annihilated Empires. We're going to follow it up with some Cataclysm DDA. Um, now, I've never played this game, Heroes of Annihilated Empires, before, but at a glance, it's a fantasy RTS. So it ticks a lot of boxes of game types that I really hate. But never let that dismay Scipio the Insane, though. Uh, let's get into it. Let's see what it's all about. We'll just go with the campaign. Path of the Sylvan Folk. City of Dawn? Sure, let's go for it. This game's the right pig to uh, to run on stream, that's for sure. But I think we got it working. Do we got it working? Hey, that looks good to me. You let me know if it looks good for you. RTS plus RPG. Just gets better and better. Oh well, let's go into it with uh, Empty Head. I'll give it one thing from the start, it actually looks pretty good. Is that a mix of 3D and 2D? Because I think those trees are sprites. Okay, what is going on? For starters, we control with uh, the arrow keys. I don't know what Waz does, but it doesn't move us. Scrolling turns the camera around stop now is the time to fight not flee let's stop the enemy together okay right i think i've got the basics here let's go scroll if wheel to, to fight, uh, follow me scroll Back wheel away, to turn Ranger. is a weird one the undead are behind us what are the villagers? They are retreating. Take the defense in the watchtower. I'll go to the city and cover citizens' withdrawal. Aye, but we won't be able to hold out for long. Okay. So we've got this extremely loud voiced ranger individual. And we're protecting citizens. That does not sound like something I'm interested in doing, but let's go anyway. Walking corpses that should be rotting in the soil. Now they've risen to the surface and are attacking the living. This has never happened before. We've battled with orcs, goblins, and gnolls. These are dangerous beasts, but they are alive, just like us. And these spawns of darkness. No, I won't fear them. I, Elant, the son of Alvar. Uh, sure. Save me. Let's go just go charging into this army of undead. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> there are a lot of them, sire. They said they were... Oh. Yeah, that's more like it. Get the, uh, the benefit of this defense turret that I'm not sure if I can actually use uh, in any way. Maybe this game will let me set those up on my own. Some interesting observations coming in from chat. That guy is huge, or the others are tiny. Yeah, we're uh, we're six foot one, and these guys are five foot ten. Help! My laboratory. The goblins have attacked. Alchemists. I've always disliked them. Greedy for money and gold. Grey bearded old men with skin corroded with a foul smelling gas. How many of them are there in these regions? Although there is a beneficial side, some useful potions can be bought in these stores. He's really got it in for the alchemists, so I wonder how this guy would do meeting Wilfred Dion of Camadori fame. So first we're killing the undead, now there's these weird goblin folk. I'm at a loss, but... <laughs> We're towering over the trees, come to think of it. I quite like this uh, this way of setting down my people's motions, though. Brave, elf. Thanks to you, the vile goblins barely reached me in my potions. I, I shall leave these restless places soon. But 
Now my alchemy is at your service. Choose. Here are the finest goods and the best prices in all Atlans. So my reward for saving him is him selling me stuff? Health, health, detonating elixir. Damage plus two. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Oh, you've got an even better one for damage plus five. Costs gold. I don't know where or what gold is, but forget that for now. It is of those potions traded by the alchemist. Our warriors often use these. Maybe someone lost it in the chaos of the retreat. Well, finders keepers. I don't know if that's instantly used. I must have an inventory or something somewhere. And what do we have here? Mm, I'm going to assume that was a healing well. Now let's get moving. Right, here we go. Now we've got something resembling an inventory. But Warriors, it's completely empty right now. Our families are dying! We need to cover the citizens' retreat! We what? were ordered to retreat. You're not our commander, stranger. Great pep talk. Your These families are dying. Are uglier than skeletons. Those have only bare bones, and these worm-eaten flesh and rotten sunken eyes. But even they won't scare me. I'm not afraid of you, spawns of darkness. So who's this do-gooder we're playing as? Stop! Together we can hold back the hordes of undead! Save the people! This game's got a good way of keeping the ranged guy in the back whilst the grunts go up front. <laughs> Poor people are so resigned to their fate. Alright, come on, let's save as many as we are deign to. Are there any braves left among you? Join me! We were ordered to retreat. You're not our commander, stranger. Come on, those people can handle it. Oh, hang on, we got a, we got a thing in the top right. Salvation. You will lose if 20 citizens die. Alright, well, let's try our best to not have them die. They're getting minced upon right now. They're hardy citizens, though. They seem to be able to take quite a beating. Corpses. Back. Back. To. This takes inspiration from somewhere, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Undead are attacking Old Ash! Quick to his aid! Am I meant to know Old Ash? Tree Defender, a powerful siege warrior, heavily protected but extremely slow, can engulf enemies with its roots, inflicting crushing damage to several enemies at a time. Well, get to that, because he's just swinging at these folks. All right, you can handle the rest. I meant to save citizens here. Where is your pride? I'm with you, Ranger. I I am at quite the loss as to what we're doing here, but we're doing it. Speed it up there. Speed it up there. 
Take my bow in reward, it will avail you. What should I do with it? Hey, it's stirring. Okay, right. Show me this bow. I mean, I don't know what I've been attacking with so far, but this should give me extra range and extra damage. Done and done right. I'm also told I can level up some way. Should be able to level up. Click the bottom left, portrait. Yeah. Bottles, magic, journal, information. Not seeing anything about leveling up, though. Ah, no, these look like it. Increase attack, defense, against chopping. Skip to enable full list of enhancements on next level up. No, it's all about attack. It's all about attack. Didn't you hear him? Now is not the time for retreat. Although during my wandering off, six civvies died. Everything is so small, trying to read stuff hurts my eyes, says Marvin. But one tree was saved. That it was. What do we have here? You acquired protective amulet. Okay. Defense against magic, but magic is inverted commas. Maximum health. Alright, sure, let's go. Uh, let's all of us Stop. go, please. Now is the time to fight, not flee. Let's stop the enemy together. So we move to where I point, and then the melee units move in the direction I point the arrow. That that I like quite a lot. But we're getting ourselves quite the following here. Quite the fellowship, even. Raccoon says six citizens died somehow. It's probably when I ignored the trail to save our not ends. We were ordered to retreat. You're not our commander, stranger. God, everyone's... Everyone's so depressed. But don't worry, I'm here to liberate you, I think. Who am I? Why am I here? And good grief, that is a lot of them, sire. Warriors! Your families are dying! We need to cover the citizens' retreat! Lead on! Should have known that line back in the Frostpunk days. Your families are dying. Uh, we need to mince our way through here. Or else all these civvies are gonna eat it. He's not wrong. They're, they're pretty wimpy undead. I don't know why we're fleeing here. Even the citizens, uh, they can tank the hits quite admirably. Okay, there's nothing there, but we do tower over it like we tower over everything. God, gigantic. Are there any braves left among you? Join me! We were ordered to retreat. You're not our commander, stranger. Yeah, they liked using their voice lines here. Come on, the shambling mass has gotta die. Yelling that at uh, even the civilians passing by. Alright, come now, we must put an end to all these undead pouring out. It's 
Especially since a lot of citizens have died and continue to die. 16 dead now. That's slightly worrying. 17 now. I'm doing all I can. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe the retreating ones are right. There are a lot of them. Stop! Now is the time to fight! Not flee! No, there are too many of the enemy. Just keep on killing. That Amazon was right. There are too many of them. We can't hold the undead back. Warriors! You fought well! Now you must take care of your lives! <laughs> Most of them have died Retreat under your command. Forest, and I'll try to keep the corpses at bay! Oh, what, now it's just up to him alone? He's gonna get minced? He is getting minced. What? <laughs> So now I've lost my army, I'm going at it alone. I have a feeling this is a place that'll kill me quite badly. Oh, okay! <laughs> you couldn't protect the citizens of darkness encroaches further. Alright, let's try that again. So we ordered everyone to retreat, we said we would take care of the darkness, and then the darkness slaughters us. Hmm. 2006 was the dark and trying times, says Nomicon. Any planned uh, challenges for the Frostpunk DLC are we done for now? We're done with Frostpunk until they put out more content. We did everything that they brought in, and I didn't find any uh, new and particularly enticing challenges. Alright, let's get our loudmouth archer back on the case. Stop! Now is the time to fight! Not flee! Let's stop the enemy together! Back away, Ranger. The undead are behind us. Take the defense in the watchtower. I'll go to the city and cover citizens' withdrawal. Walking corpses that should be rotting in the soil. All right, now this now seems to be fine if we just let the, uh, the living, let the watchtower take care of, of it. Darkness. No, I won't fear them. I oh, very good at that. The son of Alvar. Son of Alpha, yeah. Fantasy. Just why? If you wish to fight fairly, follow me! Help! Save me! Help! My laboratory! The goblins have attacked! Alright, the lab can surely hold out. Let's take care of the undead first. There we go. Maybe what we need is to get a bit closer to the action. Alchemists. 
Visually, I quite like the mix between 2D and 3D here. Although it makes these guys look like they're melting. You are brave, Elf. Thanks to you, the vile goblins barely reached me and my potions. Grab the potion. I think we're fine. We don't need any magical healing. Let's keep going. Warriors! Your families are dying! We need to cover the citizens' retreat! We were ordered to retreat. You're not our commander, stranger. Your families are dying. Stop! Together we can hold back the hordes of undead! Save the people! Except it's not just undead. we got the goblins coming for us now as well. What's it all about? Apparently this was released roughly at the same time as Cossacks 2, which was pretty solid. Cossacks 2 got the polish, this one didn't, when the company went under. walking corpses are uglier than skeletons. Those have only bare bones, and these worm-eaten flesh and rotten sunken eyes. I wouldn't claim to know. No, real-time strategy has never been my forte, and fantasy even less so. I just don't know why I left all of my people behind at the end there. Have you played Cossacks before? No, I have not. I was given a copy of Cossacks 3, but I, I never played it. Again, RTS. There's uh, there's nothing there that entices me. Stop! Now is the time to fight, not flee. No, there are too many of the enemy. All right, takes care of that. There was nothing there. Seems like going off the beaten track isn't helping us much, so let's just kill and keep moving. Let's, uh, oh, we'll leave our friend to it. The uh, This guy seems to have a mountain of uh, hit points that he's rapidly draining through, admittedly. Somebody's saying, have you tried There Are Billions? Yeah, I have. I did not like it at all. Too much RTS, not enough uh, city building. I wouldn't say it was a horrible experience, but it certainly was a pretty bad one. Let's get away from this guy before he spends another three hours talking. <clears throat> right, there are more citizens to watch die. Warriors! Your families are dying! We need to cover the citizens' retreat! Camera view is actually annoying me, says uh, Nagai. I mean, we can change that. No, not with pause. Oh, wow, they use pause. The pause key is the pause uh, button. That is vintage, that is. No, this is what I was trying to do. Change the camera. See, as a giant army, we actually work fairly well. Are there any braves left among you? Join me! Must we, though?
I think I'd rather go this way. No, I've not played black and white. I saw that in the stores as a kid, and I thought, wow, I really want to play this, but it never would have worked on our uh, PC at the time. I wonder if this thing works for a limited time, the Potion of Agility. It's fairly making me bash out those arrows. Uh, okay, don't know what this is all about. You acquired bottle with poison and orc boots. Alright, well, forget all that. Let's head back to the main road and get ourselves equipped up. Defense against piercing, crushing, and maximum health. Mana rester. Oh, mana. Anyway, whilst we were off getting ourselves a new pair of boots, everyone else was dying. There are too many of the enemy. Movement, attack rate. Yeah, attack rate. Okay, our agility potion's already worn off, so we don't. Uh, we don't get to use that forever. Let's keep going. Save the people. Stop! Now is the time to fight, not flee! Let's stop the enemy together! Now, I wonder if I'm still going to order my people to just to fight, leave me this time. Where's the... Here we go, F12, also my screenshot button to bring up the menu. Let's, um... Let's make our don't flee save. Max making the point that the shambling Warriors, living look more like the undead. We need to cover the citizens' retreat. What do we have here? Lead on. You acquired a speed potion. All right, let's chug it down. Yeah, let's chug down all of our potions. Doesn't say how long they last, but come now, the 2000s was not a time for putting information in your game. Oh, welcome. Are there any braves left among you? Join me. They have towers now. Towers are not good for our health. We got the formidable army though. I'm not so sure we should be. They are murdering us. There are too many of them. We can't hold the undead back. Warriors! You fought well. Now you must take care of your lives. Retreat to the forest, and I'll try to keep the corpses at bay. But how? I don't think you're going to keep the corpses at bay. Also, the camera isn't panning anymore. Maybe I should be the one to retreat. Run! Oh, jeez. 
Jeez. Not a lot left of you there, Ranger. What are you meant to do? Those citizens sure look like they're still dying to me. One elf that got a bit too full of himself, it seems. Maybe there are going to be no more uh, citizens spawn, and this is it. That said, 15 have died, and then, uh, what is it? You will lose if 20 die. Oh, so that's 16 kick the bucket now. Oh, it's my big tree friend. You going to help? I hope so, because there continue to be a lot of them, sire. Now nah, here's the real hero of an annihilated empire. Okay, I think they're all done. I hope so, because 19 of my citizens are dead. meant to be going on here. To be fair, Marvin, this archer guy is like a portable tower. He was one-shotting, now he's very not one shot Good grief. I'm at a loss for this. You know, once our tree friend kicks the bucket, and he's about to kick the bucket, We'll be following, so let's hope he doesn't count as a citizen when he dies. Well, down goes that tree. Alright, better, better haul ass there. <laughs> Max says, so was this trash inflicted on us by a patron? Now, like I said, this is uh, from Scipio the Insane. Grab whatever this is whilst we're en route. Ah, the protective amulet, which actually slows down mana restoration. Used up all of his stamina, pulling the string on his bow, now he can't even run. Alchemist, oh no, a <laughs> civvy! I can't afford any civvies uh, dying, so what am I to do? My health isn't great either. Damage, damage. I'll take it. But we must cover the retreat. We 
We're almost at the tower, though. The tower will help, potentially. Should provide enough cover for me to ward them off. Um, no, they're... Okay. Uh, if they'd gone on uh, that thing, we'd be down and out. Here we go, here's the tower defensing, Marvin. At least the thing about Sibby's dying is gone now, but what's with the endless army of undead? I never even saw this stuff at the top. What's this? Population, food, wood, iron, crystals. Ah, there could yet be some base building elements. Now they're bringing undead catapults. What is this? Oh, and those do serious damage. I believe I've lost control of my uh, my archer. I excuse me. Valor has taken the day. I'm not really sure there was any Valor happening there. I charged in, slaughtered an entire company of my own men against an... They probably just swelled the army of the undead there. Alright, still, let's continue to our next uh, selfish miss uh, mission here. Don't mind the change of resolution. It's an old game, but not that old. Not old enough to forgive. Hmm. Okay. Been given a new company of men to send off to die. I've heard that the chief has ordered you to gather the retreated soldiers at the fortress of Hearthstone. Accept this spell, Elant. It will be of great aid to you. Magic is the destiny of druids. I'm a warrior, not a wizard. Magic is a ferocious weapon in skillful hands. And now it's not the time to abandon weapons. I hope you're right. And I hope that this spell will prove useful. Tree of Life. This spell plants a magical tree in the ground that heals nearby friendly warriors and slows down enemies. The tree's effects become stronger when a conjurer's power increases. Very powerful trees can resurrect the fallen. I see. Let's try it out. It looks like a gay wimpy tree, but it's our wimpy tree. Now what do I do? Grab all my people and off we trot? Okay, no, they want nothing to do with me. Rats. Can't have a crummy fantasy RPG without bloody rats. Including one particularly devilish What's rat, the plague rat. I feel weak from his bite. My head is spinning. There must have been poison on his teeth. Yeah, I, w I would advise against letting rats bite you in the first place. Poison will be the least of your worries. Okay. Well, never do anything right. 
Oh, it's an alchemist. We don't like them, and yet we uh, we give them our patronage. I ah, forget you. Greed is good, but my greed. Can you blame them for not wanting anything to do with you, says Long Mace? They must have heard about your exploits and killing a company of your own men. Well, these ones might want to join me. What's up? We'll go with you, Ranger. But why? Alright, first thing, go and skewer all those rats to death. There are quite a few rats. We were better at pay, uh, taking down entire bears in Banner Saga. Have you seen how tall the elf is, Jake? I, I'd do what a 12 foot elf man with both equal of a ballista if I were them. Uh, I don't think I'd ever listen to an elf. His looks, though, remind me a bit like uh, Hercules of that N64 game we played not too long ago. Now there was a game. It wasn't even that bad a game. Health potion get. Let's keep grooving. At least it's not gather 20 rat. Oh my god. Uh, nothing will make me put down a game that fast as a quest to gather 20 pelts or other such mindless drops off of uh, woodland creatures. You know what? Let's let nature take its course. Nature sure took its course, all right. My tree! Alright, let's go off and find some other people that will serve us. Ah, goblins, help me! Ooh. Don't help me with my cripplingly large health bar. I, I feel a bit broken and beaten up here. I'll head back to base for a bit. Maybe something there will offer support. But I tried to bring some of these folks and nobody wanted to join me. Oh, we've kept all of our items from the last one though, so I've still got my orc boots. Long hunter bow and protective amulet. Yeah, I have a healing potion, but it looks like I heal passively, so I'm not about to worry about that. There was a skill that let me heal an extra two passively, which seemed pretty great, but I went for only attack. This is quite the camp. But none of these people want to follow the giant elf. Maybe this is the inspiration behind that elf movie. Nope, they're having nothing of me. Well, let's go. I 
Well, since only death awaits me over there, let's take the bridge. Ah, oh, what do we have here? Warriors! The City of Dawn has fallen! But the battle hasn't been lost! Follow me! Let your swords open the skulls of the undead! We go, Ranger. The power of the forest is with us. Well, now I've got my army. Okay. What do we have here? Listen, Ranger. Can you aid us? Yesterday, my wife and the other women went to the Western Forest to gather berries. They have not since returned. I fear to imagine their fate. There are so many of the undead and dark creatures in our forests. I beg you, rescue my wife. Can't you take care of your family yourself? I'm no warrior. The depths of the forest swarm with the beasts from beneath. I beg you, help me. Very well. The dark sorcerers are turning our dead women into zombies! Death to our enemies! Death! No, Jingo, I'm just in awe at the game here. Okay, maybe I should just aggressively push in. Because they keep raising more and more undead. Take them out of the source. Scipio says, speechless in a good way, of course. The quality on display can't compare. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mana restoration attack range. Terrible, but let's go with range. Perhaps some healthy tree will help us here. Don't know if it can grow in this dead-like soil, but there we go. Try and keep our own a bit more alive. Nice sweet animation on the necromancer there. Shame he's dead. Okay. Well... Sorry, man, but your wife and all the other women are dead, and we killed them a second time. Anything special about this tree? Just a mana potion. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go report back about the deadness of your wives.
My liege says, indeed, this game is putting me to sleep, and I just woke up after sleeping almost all day yesterday. You'd think the Play Anything would go against the spirit of the channel, but it is a way to play games that I would never normally play. And trust me, I would never normally play this. Fantasy RTS. Alright, what's going on here? Have you found her? Tell me, have you? I saw your wife. Or what was left of her. She had been turned by the necromancers. I had to... release her. Ah, may the necromancers be cursed for eternity. I swear vengeance for your wife and other elves fallen from the hands of the servants of the death. Take... Take this. It should help you on your journey. He, he actually seems kind of chuffed about the loss of his wife. He's just faking it. What do we have here? We got the hunter's hat for health 50 and attack rate plus 9. I don't think we'd lower ourselves to wearing uh, somebody's hat as an elf, but... Strange things here. Scipio says, play another mission or two and then switch to Cataclysm. Jake, I forgot how the campaign takes almost an hour before anything interesting happens. Well, you see, Scipio, I'm all about people making their bed and sleeping in it. We plow on. Right, where's the miniature army of death that had me on my knees when I was here earlier? Time to have our revenge. What's worse so far, this or Wronghold 3? I mean, Wronghold 3 was a terrible game, but, um, no, it was just terrible. But we had fun with Wronghold 3. We had quite a bit of fun with Wronghold. Wronghold was amazing, says Knight. How dare you? Oh, we dare. Wronghold does such horrible things to the series. Oh, restoration potion. Gimme. Now let's plow forward with archers in the front row because the enemy won't see it coming. Nothing there? Well, back we go. Wronghold 3 is an absolute is absolute garbage that spits on a once great series of a game. Listen, uh, it's, we've had a lot of um, redemption arcs for game companies. It could be the time for Stronghold to come back with a vengeance with their Chinese Wronghold. I'm not holding my breath there, but it could happen. Could be amazing. Maybe I'll write to Firefly and... Uh, Asked to check it out. Tell them I'm a connoisseur of the Wronghold series, and actually call it Wronghold in my mails to them, and see how they react. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Banking on China seems to be the thing, says Knight of, uh, Knight of Meh. That it does. I mean, it's hard for me to get too, uh, too interested in the theme there, but... If I can still build walls and break down walls, and just generally have walls that function, that would be a nice start. Then we might be on to a winner. Oh man, the walls in Wronghold. People going right through them, people getting stuck in them. What a disaster. Okay, fat lot of nothing out there. Is there a way I haven't been yet? Yes, back here. Ah, many more elves to join me.
Scipio is happy that almost 300 people are watching this masterpiece of a masterpiece. Masterpiece. I, d I don't know. We've had a lot of different games on the channel. I wouldn't be surprised if we've had over 300 different games on this channel. I'm not sure if this one stands out as the masterpiece. Stalin versus Martians. Now there was a game. Hail, warriors. Hail. In the name of Chief Monfort. I order you to follow me. There is an elven force gathering in the valley. Let us make haste. Ranger, we cannot. The goblins' camp is to the south of this settlement. They may attack us again. If we leave the settlement, goblins will surely attack. It will turn out deadly for the residents here. You're right. We can't leave the local residents without protection. Stay here, Commander. Let your warriors defend the village. I will eliminate the goblins' hordes and return victorious. This guy is so stuck up himself, it's phenomenal. But maybe that's the charm of being a 12 foot tall elf. Let's go. Oh, there are a lot of them. I could just aggro the, uh, the goblins back here and let these ones take care of it. Also, my archers are lagging behind like nothing on earth. Let's let them catch up as I check out the artifact master. Well, I could do with a jacket, or even some chainmail. What do I have? 89, uh, dosh. Mm. Yeah, let's get ourselves some chainmail. Oh, no, it's 200. These doshes are high. Okay, I'll just buy a belt then. Never mind that I'm trying to save you. I don't want to die. Goblins are evil. Evil things. Alright, Goblin Slayer. There are more of them to the south of Atlans. I had a chance to learn their habits well. Each pack has a leader. He can be distinguished from the others by the clothes he wears. If he is killed, the others will scatter in panic. There was a good line from Dark Young earlier today in chat, just before this started. Something along the lines of, I don't want Jake playing the games I like, he plays them in ways that I won't like. So I'd like somebody to subtly find out what all of uh, Dark Young's childhood gems are, and we might see them as a surprise showcase on the channel. Jake, will you play War for the Overworld? Uh, it's not likely. Hmm, I was all ready to use the Tree of Life, but do I not have any mana? Oh god, I got no mana whatsoever. Perhaps I should drink this mana potion. And then when we get into our next big fight... Oh goodness, there are a lot of them over there. Alright, let's have the power of tree. You have negative mana regen, no mana sire. Yeah, mana restoration is at negative one. How can this be? Oh, my boots. And my belt. And my protective... Okay, my mana's just down the toilet then. Well, that's fitting for our guy. He says that uh, magic sucks or something like that. Have another one. I think our people are dying. Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh, I think we're in something resembling trouble here. Is that the goblins yelling that there are too many of them? Alright, that goblin chieftain is down. The others will surely scatter. Yeah, the attack rate on these uh, regular elf archers of mine is pretty abhorrent. But that's okay. All that matters is the power of my strategy, and it seems to be working out just fine. Innocent blood will be spilled by goblins no more. Let's get back to the settlement. Come now, don't let uh, lack of ambition hit you there, Elfman. So what exactly does the tree do? It extremely slowly restores health for friendly allies, and it slows down enemies inside its radius. Hmm? Are we attacking this thing? I don't get to learn its information. Let's get a bit closer. I'm unsure if this is helping anyone in any way. Probably not. Increase mana restoration. Oh, I'm not actually sure which one I clicked on there. Nay clue. Let's just get out of here. Oh, but I spy treasure. Or a healing well. You acquired a wedding ring. Well, let's just put that on. Health regeneration, maximum health. Sure. What do we have over here? Thank you, Ranger. We'll go wherever you lead us. <laughs> I hope they didn't see what happened to the last guys that followed me. That was very close to the settlement. War was inevitable. So I find someone's wedding ring and I just put it straight on. We'll wear four rings, but no more. The goblins are dead. Dead. The settlement is safe. Good news, warriors! From now on, we will obey the orders of this ranger. Fools. Still, I could do with an army. Oh, do I get all of them? I get all of them. Let's just abandon the settlement and march on. I feel like we could take on anything with this kind of army. Let's go. I like that they stay relatively in formation here, but since we are 12 foot tall, we're taking ginormous strides. So we're breaking out of it a little bit. These archers do uh, only one damage a pop, which is pretty terrible. I have to make up for that in numbers. Ah, oh, no, 
nothing's any problem for us. Wait, didn't I say I would lead them north? Well, they're unquestionably following my orders, so it's fine. I don't know what the range on these things are. Medium training speed inflicts piercing damage from large distance in long range combat. Okay. We've also got Goblin Shaman. This will not stand. Kill them all. Don't really know what they're summoning here, but I don't like it. Forget it, just kill the shaman. Oh, easy peasy. Here it is. A source of magical substances. The creation of druids, which allows any wandering mage to replenish his magic powers. And since I possess a spell. These sources can be of great use to me. There's something quite evil about the way he's, uh, he's acting here. Well, drink up, man. Or don't, it's up to you. Still haven't quite figured out how to interact with people that have these things above them. Yes, there we go. We will escort you to Hardstone. Again with a shaman, but down they go. They don't seem to fare well in close combat. Yes, onwards to Hearthstone. How is that game doing these days? Anyway, it was everywhere just a couple of years ago. Got ourselves some Wandering Boots. They also kill my restoration, but it feels like the Elf Boots were better. Correct me if I'm incorrect, but I just looted that um, that cart for Dosh. Only 14 coins, though. I still can't even buy a shirt. Hmm. All right, onwards. Hearthstone's doing decently strong, but Blizz just moved all of their eSports streaming to YouTube exclusively, so maybe not as good in a year or two. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't claim to know or care anything about it. Goodness, those archers are slow. I'm going to be lacking cover fire here. Not that they're particularly power- oh god, it's more undead. And my, uh, my Belay are carrying me into the thick of battle. How nice of them. Let's have ourselves a nice tree for our worries. What a worrying noise coming from it. What have we here, hero? I'm glad to see you, Ranger. I have also ran through the forest with a bow in my time. But that was a long time ago. I'm old and want to pass my skill to someone else. 
With the aid of this aura, you and your archers will hit the targets with great ease. With the what now? Wind arrows. Wind blows from behind the army, following uh, allowing arrows to fly faster, but reducing attack speed. Plus three damage, plus one twenty, minus thirty-three. Da -da 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 -da. Three base damage, but we have one base damage, right? I don't know, but they have been quite rubbish so far. I've never seen tracks like these before. What kind of alien creature could have left them? Hmm. A tank has been through here. I'm sure there's someone to talk to there, but I'm not seeing it. You there. Of course, we will follow you. There is actually a tank here, right? That's, that's the only reasonable undead. explanation I've got. We're attacked by the undead. Help! I, warriors, attack! Hmm. It's probably a trick by the undead. Kill them. No. Okay. Oh, they've got a defensive tower, they got nothing to worry about. Let's try winding the arrows. These ones can fairly take a beating. Yeah, I lost most of my melee units there, but oh, thanks, stranger. We won't be able to cope without your help. By the authority of Chief Monfort, you must follow me. <laughs> we are gathering an army to give fight to the undead. Gladly. But there are only a few of us left here. The majority went to Hardstone to help the fairies. There were centaurs among them. They are the born warriors. But no one has returned. Instead of our brothers, the horde of undead came from that side. My duty is to gather all survivors. Come to Hardstone. Where is Hardstone? The camp up north, that wasn't Hardstone, was it? It's not impossible. I would not feel good being a melee unit with this many archers behind me. That said, giant intimidating elf man is telling me what to do. When the undead die, they make a sound like uh, biting into an apple. It's not unpleasant, but it's a tad strange, and oh dear, what happened here? 
How do I get really close again? There we go. There we go. Get a good look at those smoldering ruins and dead on the ground. The undead. Cut them down. Trample them. Bloody your hooves. The centaurs are fighting the undead. We have to help them. Attack! Attack! Oh my. <laughs> they look like they came straight out of Mortal Kombat. Just check that animation. Though we would have coped by ourselves, nevertheless, thank you for your help, Elf. There is bad news. While we were repulsing the cursed undead, the wizards have dragged their fairies to the old cemetery. Then we must pursue them. We'll be able to trample them down if we use Spidery Path. It is shorter and there are ghouls on the main road. Spiders are the lesser evil. Then let's move! A centaur's temper is impestuous and uncontrolled. Sometimes they seem to be wild animals to me. They are loyal friends, though, and are sure to stand on our side in the battle with the undead. Especially if I, the best warrior of the South, will lead them. Oh, it's painful stuff. Uh, right, let's grab what we can and move out. I didn't pay attention to which way we're going, but let's just move forward here. Spiders and ghouls and whatnot. Those aren't spiders at all. But they are ghouls. I think if I was an elven melee unit by now, I'd just be giving up. I would also be saving at this point. So it'll be a long campaign to restart. Good health on these guys. Yeah, Hoopa, the um, the hero of an annihilated empire here. Never let anyone say he's not uh, not humble. He's the best at being humble. centaurs. Sadly, they are dying. Well, they're also the only melee units we have left, so let's keep going. Through what I assume is the path I'm not meant to take, since there are ghouls here, and we were told we were going to fight spiders. Good speed on them. I trust Scipio used only centaurs when fighting in multiplayer. Take a step back. Let's actually have some cover fire from up. Well, if he wants to kill himself, let them come. Let them eat bow. What are these shambling ones? That's a lot of necromancers. I hope they don't conjure up uh, more undead each. That 
Seems to be exactly what they're doing. The last of his kind is dead now. I've only got ranged units. Cowardly elves. I play Undead Mage RPG. Jake RPG is as strong as RTS in multiplayer. Rocket propelled grenade. That would be pretty strong. I miss my centaurs. Generally, I like ranged units in uh, games like this, but not elven ones. Poison bottle get. Kind of at the end of the road here. No, it goes on a bit. Okay. More treasure, but... Uh, something horrific's happening here. Oh, okay. It wasn't the most triumphant victory I've ever seen, but the war chief's task is accomplished. Okay. Okay. It seems everything we need to set up a camp is here. Interesting. What can these fairies build? Well, they can build some cool strobe lighting effect. What is going on with those wings? Is that natural? Okay, now I have population, food, wood, iron, and crystals again. But how does one actually base build? are capable of resurrecting dead goblins. They should be eliminated first. With what? Really pathetic fighting of the fairies there. Alright, well just draw their aggro. These fairies are like the dungeon keeper fairies and are just glass cannons. Not at all, they did next to no damage there. Right, so now that we've killed the goblins and taken their land, I suppose we build it up. I suppose we build. Now, how does one build? Camera, mini map. Attention, menu, uh, hmm. Maybe these folks, by clicking on them, we have them build. Build a fairy tree, summons fairies and dryad, provide 50 living places. Okay. Well, build it up. Apple tree, elf house, mining tree. Allows fairies to collect crystals, can only grow in crystal mines. Okay. 
tower attacks enemy ground air units in it. Okay, that seems fairly defensive. Get to it. Ooh, I like what it does with the uh, with the ground there. Go and scout out a bit. And then help with the building operation. Well, the place looks fairly nice now. Fairy, winged force, fairy, medium training speed, can accumulate resources and construct buildings. But how do they accumulate resources? Do I tell them to cut down trees and stuff? It looks like it. Are they... Oh, oh, oh dear. Maybe we rush that tower a bit. They were quick to sense my presence. My presence? He's so freaking full of himself. There we go, let's get this temp uh, tower done. Let's get these people just chopping down the trees. Does it make sense for the fairies to be the one deforesting? Kinda like the way this thing is uh, growing up here. All right, fully operational defensive tower. Get. Okay, I was hoping it would be a bit more fully operational. How do I train some actual units that could be of use, though? Allows fairies to mine the ore, can only grow on ore deposits. Okay. Build up the mine. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's done, does it? Apple tree lets fairies gather food. Did I build one? Probably not. You there, build us an apple tree. Elf house. Trains elf archers and elf pikemen. Okay, well, we should definitely have those. Fairies and as builders and uh, resource harvesters just feels so very strange. Is there any active cost for these towers? If not, I imagine that one should just have millions of towers. The tower just costs wood, admittedly lots of it, but... Ah, okay, looks like they can't be too close to an existing tower. Well, that's fine, let's just not let anyone get close. Ah, they have an increased cost for each one you build. I see. Well, fight the good fight, fairy. Good job. Train warriors, reinforce helmet, what? Elf pikeman, elf archer. Ten pikemen, ten archers, get on it. We will raise an army and then go and do whatever we're meant to do. It wasn't really explained. I'm sure it didn't need to be explained. I've been ignoring the fairies, they seem to go off and just do their own thing, which is fine. You 
you just stand around here and defend what can be defended. I'm sure I can set a rally point for you, right? So rally yourselves over there. Right, astonishingly, all of my uh, my pikemen are alive. They shall stand there and defend that. Forget the food, build this thing up so we have more defenses. The archers are going to head over there. That doesn't seem too smart. Let's have them at least slightly protected by you. You need a stronger economy and slave more fairies for more work. Fairies appear to cost um, crystals and I've yet to figure out how to gain more crystals. They're not attacking from this end because I would have no answer to that. But I do have a lot of um, I do have a lot of wood. Perhaps these Fey should build me another tower right around here, so that we have the perfect defense. None shall pass. So this training warrior, that doesn't permanently increase their attack, does it? It looks more like it gives them a temporary buff? Hard to say. Well, I can't tell, and I will continue not to tell. I will notice, though, that it stopped the recruitment. Well, the wood economy looks good, but that's about it. Winged forest fairy, medium training speed, can you da, 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 da. well, get mining. And once these fairy are done with this, they too shall go. Okay, it's a permanent upgrade, just takes its time. Fully operational, alright fairy folk. Get mining. More crystals means more fairies, meaning more mining. Maybe I should just let them get on with it for a while. They can defend themselves as well, whilst... Uh... Okay, there we go. Upgrade complete. Hmm. So our warriors will be even stronger. Just go and scout out a bit. I'm plenty fast and I am a giant Versus. after all. I've heard they are called vicious killers before. It's also said that each pack has its own leader. If he is done with, the others will become weaker. What do we have around here? Those are the actual strong enemies. Yeah, they look a bit strong, but we'll just leave them be. 
<laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> what am I looking at here? Mummies, very fast warrior of the undead, inflicts crushing damage in close combat. Has good defense against piercing wounds, can easily withstand magic. Of course. You know, my crystals aren't going up whatsoever. What's with the lack of fairies getting me crystals? I mean, it is said to be on an iron ore deposit, so I'm not sure that's giving me uh, what I need. Mining tree. No, it says it can grow on crystal mines, but I already built you there. Is there another crystal mine? Not that I can see. Guests from the cemetery have arrived. Ha! <sighs> ha! All right, skeletons, time to die. I shall continue to scout. Shall also try to get more archers. My wood game is strong. I should have more people focus on getting food. I yeah, just leave them to it. Towers are doing their job admirably. Let's just go and thieve everything we can. Oh dear, oh dear. They're using some kind of strange magical attack on me. I set a bad rally point, didn't I? Get over there. Let's not have our archers in the front line. The most tactically thought out thing I've said today. This is starting to feel more like what the game should have been about an hour and a half ago. I mean, it's still garbage, but uh, it's a damn sight better than just walking around with this giant guy leading my own people to their death. What, I can't uh, bring these people out to play with me? Yeah, that uh, that ranged magical attack it does a number on my uh, on my ranger here. I need more of an army to withstand that. Tower rush the base. <laughs> so towers cost more and more for each one I slam down. I guess what I meant to do is kind of camp out until we've built up all of the. Oh, that's iron. Right, and we have good iron. What we don't have is good food. So I need more of these fey making me food. Maybe I need more apple trees. Don't know how the scaling works on the trees. It's just the sprite getting less flattened here. I'll get gathering that food. I don't know what the number in parentheses here is though. Still food is going up and that in itself is a good thing. Get those pikemen going. They need to tank the hits so that our crummy archers don't have to. And yes, I wouldn't mind getting extra re uh, defense for everybody. We'll build up at our, our army and then we'll go and take them one side at a time. We have food, wood, and uh, what's the third resource? Population, food, wood, iron, and crystals. I don't know why the iron is in a weak cart like that, but... 
Yeah, the food actually looks like food. Scroll wheel for rotating. What other games did that? <laughs> it's kind of fun though. Okay. Heroes can level up, right? Yes, our hero can, and indeed probably should. Health, magic, yeah, it's got magic resistance since they keep casting magic on me. Speaking of, do I actually have mana uh, recovery now? Yeah, I kind of do. Let's heal anybody that needs healing. Heroes receive 25% of experience if the kill is done by friendly non-summoned units, so I'm actually leeching off of my uh, my compatriots here. Hmm. Okay, I said I want that reinforced helmet, but... Ah, let's get it now. Does it say defense plus one? What's our current defense? 10, 3, 3. You guys have not a whole lot at all. Zero ten three three. We'll see if that goes up when this training is complete. Novel Gummant says, "How can you read that text box?" Well, I have augmented vision. It'd be a shame if it didn't do anything for me. Rangers are the wardens of the forests who do not wish to part with their weapons even in times of peace and tranquility. All rangers are master bowmen, plus these warriors are used to, uh, used to fighting the enemy single-handedly and are ready to challenge even the most fearsome of enemies. Tilled? You tell me Tilled gives me more? No. No they are not. It's a shame Tilde is my favorite key on the keyboard. Alright, defense up. Yeah, defense on everything. Now even our, um, our pikemen have defense against magic. Better question is how can you read that and not read the effect of arc lightning? Listen, I read it. It was just interpreted in different ways. Select units that I have. Control click, control click. Right. We should get to sending out this army. Although, let's get some. There we go. Yeah, let's just keep building them up. However, I'm going to need uh, a place for these people. An elf house, 75 living places. There you go. Uh, let's get another one. Okay, that costs umpteen million iron. Well, we'll have that. Let's just march our people to their deaths. Oh, there are a lot of them. But there are a lot of us. And we're both equally keen to die. Do I see that right? The green is spreading as we take over the area. That's kind of cool. They're kind of mincing our archers, sire. They're kind of mincing our everything, actually. 
Yeah, why well, worry about it? Just keep laying the smack down. Maybe some health potion will help us. And some spells. Oh jeez, the shaman are all back here. I thought I'd eliminated them quickly, but evidently not quickly enough. I hope those shaman don't resurrect other shaman. Surely dealt with our problem. Let's consolidate, pick off any more that come, and we're good to go, probably. Oh, that's quite a nice effect on the ground there. And it seems attack the buildings. Now let's tear it down. But whilst that's being torn down, I have units to produce. Shift click gives me 10 of them, which is quite nice. Even Frostpunk couldn't master shift clicking. Your base is being attacked. That base is fine. Look at it. Couldn't be more fine if we tried. There. Rally ho. Oh. Well, that came toppling down. What's our... What's our prize? Speed potion. I'm not liking these potions. They have very limited... Um, a very limited effect duration. Alright, it's not enough simply to drive uh, people packing. One must destroy their homes or else they'll just return. Archers, don't mind being poked at. You'll be fine. There we go, now focus on the enemy. Ah, nothing to worry about. Jake, what if you control click the production, then it's infinite. Endless production. Periodically something does 140 damage, and I'm not sure what it is. Too infrequent to be my my big cheese unit. Wonder if it's my spearmen. Do they do lots of damage towards buildings? Not well, pikemen, rather. Reminds me of the first time I played Age of Empires, says Neo Government. Took me two hours to get Till the Hun to kill his brother during the boar hunt. Eh. I played a very short spell of Age of Empires 2, could not get into it. Oh, 
Okay, nothing else here. I guess we came, we saw, we conquered. Well then, let's march the attack on the other side. Preferably with a lot more units, but we got what we got. Ambassador of Pharmacy says that Age of Empires is the first and best RTS that they've ever played. Well, I'm not denying these games can be good, but they're certainly not for me. I ain't going back for that. We've made our decision. Oh, I can recruit from this elf house as well. Will that speed up my they recruitment? Who is controlling them from the cemetery? I don't know, but I really like that crunchy apple noise they make when they die. Also, why are these fey fighting? They should be gathering something. I don't know what, but something. Nice little animations there. I mean, they are absolutely tiny animations, but it's cool. I want to get a good close look at what's going on here. This all fruit diet can't be good for people. Not just all fruit, but only apples. Apples are pretty great, but after like three or four of them, you kind of want to eat anything else. Or tree. I don't think there's a lot to like about this game, but I think it looks really good for a mid-2000s game. It blends 2D and 3D together pretty well. I mean, it looks better than, say, Stronghold 2. But Stronghold 2 is not a pretty game. It's a pretty gash game. Right, let's get on the war march. Knights and Merchants was the first one for me, says a very unfortunate Super Ninja pilot. God, what an awful game. If ever there was a case of what were they thinking in a game. Okay, I brought too many fairies with me. Get your get yourselves back there, all more food. Oh, hold it, folks. I mean business. Dune 2. Dune 2 is pretty good. Quite a lot of it has not aged well with grace, but it's still pretty good. Max is wondering if the music is awfully distorted. Well, let's have it louder so you can tell. I didn't like the music too loud because it was getting in the way of the... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Do you want to leave? No, I don't. Let's keep playing. And let's also save in case I make that mistake again. They look mean, my lord. Let's... Let's goad them into our all-powerful towers. Oh, they're having none of it. They're wise. Wise to us. They're slow, though. Considerably slower than us. Oh god, who's this big guy? Take down the big cheese, the rest will be weak. Oh, okay. Ursinoid. No information on them, sadly. Oh, easy money.
<laughs> the alchemist was just chilling with them. No wonder we hate alchemists. Wilfred Dion was probably working here and plowing his way through all those giant wargs. I don't like to look at any of this garbage. I want myself a t-shirt. Poor guy's been running around without a shirt for a very long time. Yeah, these mummies really are resilient to blows, taking almost no damage. They got a very high defense against... I couldn't tell what that was, here it is. Piercing. So the arrows are doing a whole lot of not much against them. Let's get plus three to damage from arrows, could be the difference between... Um... Hmm, my big cheese is eating this. He'll make a strategic withdrawal for himself and himself only. Go. Yeah, he's getting fairly minced there. I think I could do with uh, a few more pikemen. Just endlessly make these, please. I right, I knew I could trust you. Let's get back to it. Ursinoid because owl bears are too uh, mainstream. Also, literally bootleg Warcraft 3 down to the shops guarded by nonsense monsters. And Black Wind sounds like he has a big old chip in his shoulder about something. What am I even doing here? I feel like a bit of the lore was lost. Alright, more ghouls. Ghouls don't have good defense against anything, so away they go. Altar of attack. Using the power of the altar, the hero and all friendly forces nearby improve their attack values. Well, I don't have lots of them, but let's do it anyway. Alright, let's give them what's for. Oh, hmm. Mm hmm. They still look mean, my lord. Still looks like we're doing about five times the archer damage on the mummies this time. That slowdown effect is real good on the fast-moving mummies. I should consider that one. The healing effect, however, is agonizingly slow. The game was 80 odd percent finished before the company went under. The game lacks polish to make it shine. It's rough but incomplete gem. You heard of the phrase nostalgia there, Scipio? Why do they need those banners? Is it possible that some sort of magic is involved? We should try eliminating the banner bearers first. Maybe it will diminish the resistance of the others. Banner bearers increase defense of skeleton warriors. Try to kill them first. Thanks for the heads up game. But let's get our big tree going first, and then slaughter the banner, brother. Then the rest can fall.
Wait, what in the world did I shoot over there? Where are you all going? I don't know, but there's something over there that warrants shooting at. Necromancer. Sure, why not? Where are they off to? Not enough residents to train, build structures. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sure. Sire. Well, let's slow them right the way down. And despite them being sitting ducks for us, charge the pikemen in. There is no way we can be rid of them without destroying the graveyard. But the graveyard is where we lay the dead to rest. Such sacrilege on our elven archer guy. That's why he has to go in first and foremost and take the beat down. Gotta hand it to those mummies. They used a tactic that, uh, that I would use there. Which is charge in and die. Are the units 2D or 3D? I can't tell. They are most assuredly 2D. And it's a pretty good look. I'll give the game that for free. Oh jeez, they're at it again. Give us the power of a tree, please. They're never ending. Forget it. Just destroy the graveyard. Ignore all the enemies. This is what I have. I don't know. Health potions and... I wonder if these only affect me or if they t affect the whole team. Just take out the graveyard, folks. Don't mind everybody smashing into you. There we go. Now you can just die. do with that tree, friend. Give us time to shoot these guys dead. Skeleton Captain. He's gotta go. Maybe I should consider bringing in some reinforcements. It's almost like I have a giant army here. But if I'm going to do that, I will need a new elven home. And let's send you folks on the warpath. You can meet up with us here. Didn't you used to have spearmen, Jake says Mort. I did, but in chess the pawns go first. They were the pawns in this case, and they certainly went first. We, however, are not in a good space here, with no melee units. It's alright, the reinforcements are on their way with even more ranged units. Thank you for quoting that awful movie, had me laughing at 8am, says Black Winds. I, I don't know what you're talking about.
I don't make a habit of quoting movies, so I really don't know what he's talking about. Pepperan is pointing out that the game is 80% off on Steam if anybody cares. I'm sure there's some people thinking that this is exactly what they want to experience. Not me though. No, I'm thinking quite the opposite of that. Desecrated the graveyard. We have double killed a lot of people. Time to double kill a few more of them. Let's get that tree up. At least this tree isn't quite so slow and overbearing with its words. Crashbite points out that there are 137 people following this game on Twitch to never miss anybody streaming it. So Dark Young, out of curiosity, what are some childhood favourite games of yours? Anything else to desecrate? Surely there's nothing that this 12 foot archer won't infringe upon. An Eye of Lightning. Oh, it's a spell here. Eye of Lightning. Hero summons a magic eye which hangs above the land and attacks enemies around with lightning bolts. Arc Lightning, you say? Sounds dangerous. I guess inaccuracy is not a problem if you have enough arrows, but still looks awfully wasteful. Ah, it's the cursed foe. A. to bow before me, mortal fool. So, you are the scum who rules over the undead here. I will cleanse this land of your filth. <laughs> you are welcome to try, <laughs> mortal. When selecting level up enhancement, try choosing defense from the weapon you suffer the most. Is that some kind of hint? I don't really do hints. And I don't have level ups available. He seems to be beating a hasty retreat already. Let's tear down another crypt. You know, instead of uh, dealing with the damage that's coming our way. Lots of necromancers, but that's okay, probably. There that goes, down with the necromancers. Oh, they die fast. Don't forget the loot, man. You need that bone bracelet. 
Health regen down. I wonder if you can have negative health regen that kills you over time. Surely. Oh, right, there's more necromancy to put an end to. Giant moonstone is in a moonstone. Didn't realize the crossover of Pokemon was this real. This game is speaking my language, encouraging me to get living space. But I can't build more elf houses because I'm low on wood and, and uh, okay, it takes a lot of stuff, I see. Well, let's just send in the reinforcements. Sure they'll join up with us eventually. And being an elven um, foot trooper is the true suffering here. Hey, I think it's resurrecting uh, some of my units. It did say it would do that. That doesn't mean I listened to it. Let's see, he has massive uh, defense against everything. I think every attack is only doing one damage to him. Which is not ideal. He probably has pretty good health regen as well. Not that I can tell. Uh, we would do well to fall back a bit until we have more units here. Seems a little dangerous for us. We can pick off those that come our way, but ah, here come the reinforcements. Don't know about that, says Young. I'm feeling some true suffering here. What a game. Perhaps I should consider using this at some point, but the mana cost is too high. My mana restoration is terrible. Mana restoration is seven. Seven per what? Okay, we've got the everybody here. Let's assemble and slaughter. Preferably slaughter this guy. He's, he's kind of the cause of all of our problems here. And he's sending all these pretty awesome looking... Uh, oh, Christ, that kills... Well, rain down 1,036 arrows on him, and that'll be the end of him. You... You can rejoice, mortal. But you cannot defeat me beneath the earth. The ground will be no escape, evil. So easily goaded. Yeah, okay, forget the army I had. I'll just charge in on my own. Oh, 
I would quite like my army back, please. Don't forget your potions, Jake. I'd rather forget them. The al bloody alchemist is down here as well. Alright, I think I've seen quite enough of this. Let's just get our idiot guy killed for his, uh, his foolishness. See, my own army knew better than to come rushing in here. God bless Dao for putting elves in their place. The slums. This looks stupid. I bet you can somehow bring your army in with you. Ah, uh, not so sure about that. The army seems very gone. Please put an end to this, undead warriors. No, he just keeps coming back. He's the true undead necromancer, really. Come on, El Hunt. We got a full mana restoration on death as well. Interesting. Oh, please, please kill him. <laughs> I want him gone. Strip, man, strip. Embrace the pain. Guess it's not that easy to take down such a towering elf. Oh, thank goodness the night. Oh, error called DLL function. Game can't handle, uh. Game can't handle him dying. Player Null has eliminated Jake at 22 level. Now what? The game could not conceive that you would, uh, lose and want to stop playing. Okay, I, th I think we're done with this game. Like, I think we're permanently done with this game. God, that was, uh, that was some painful stuff. Let's get back to the menu. Ah, <laughs> it was only three of the, uh, the levels on the campaign here. Never mind the, uh, the resolution shift there. This game has the advanced technology of different resolution for the menu than for the game. Apparently it's all about the multiplayer, right? Elves, warriors, mages... Mechanicians? Mechanicians? Hmm. Alright, let's just jump into something and see what it looks like. Naffle is saying that this is knockoff Warcraft 3 ass, wow. Such scathing words. What do I have here? I've got the Atlans Amazon, a clan of elves which mostly women grow up to be skillful warriors. From the early childhood they are taught to handle spears. There's no foe more dangerous than an infuriated Amazon. Dressing appropriately for combat, I see. Got many more spells, but extremely slow. He wasn't saying it's ass, he was talking to ass, although it is ass, says <laughs> Matt. Having Asidious around here can often be confusing. 
Ah, looks like there's some friendly folks over here. Good grief. Hello friends, could you help me start a settlement here? That's a, a nice flail. Okay, I fear it's going to be more of the uh, more of the slow death. Let's get out of here. Oh. Okay, uh, we are going to not so smoothly transition to Cataclysm DDA next, but I'm I'm gonna take a wee bit just to clear my head after the experience that is Heroes of Annihilated Empires. Again, thanks to uh, Scipio the Not So Sane for bringing this to the channel. I'll actually take the stream down for five or ten minutes, tend to the kitchen for a bit, and then come back with Cataclysm. So until then, well, there's no Cheerio, just until then.